this. This includes fractions, among other things. It's like integers plus fractions. And so we, we, we write this a, a funny way. We say uh, there's a set of A over B such that A and B are integers. So, for example, uh, example, two because two is two is like two over one, and then three, which is like three over one, and then we have one half, uh, one over a hundred. You know, more fractions. Um, and then the real numbers is about everything else you can think of except um, complex numbers. So, mm, how do we define the real numbers? There's no easy way to re define the real numbers. So we'll just say it's everything else um, except for i. Okay, so those are our number systems. Take a good look. Okay, so prime number, prime number is divisible by self and one. Uh, one doesn't count. And all prime numbers are within the natural number system. So they go 2, 3, 5, 7, uh, 11, 13, 17, 19, uh, 23. And every other number is a product of primes. Sounds kind of obvious. So 2 equals 2 times 1, 3 is 3 times 1, these are prime numbers, and 4 is 2 times 2. So 4 is a product of primes, 5 is 5 times 1, 6 is 2 times 3. So we have a composite number and then a composite number, and those are made up of primes. So primes are like the backbone of the number system, or at least as natural numbers are concerned. This is useful if we want to, ah, excuse me. This is useful if we want to evaluate least common multiples. Least common multiples. Uh, there we go. Least common multiples. So let's say we had like 36, 48, and 12. So right off the bat, um, it's kind of easy to see that 12 is a multiple of 36 and 48, um, or at least depending on what level of mathematics you're in. Uh, if you're in uh, grade school or middle school, maybe it's not so obvious, but if you're in high school, um, it, hopefully it's a little bit more obvious. Um, so 12, 24, 36, 48, so I'm making a chart and just adding 12 to itself. Once, twice, well, once, twice, three times, four times, you can see that uh, there are four groups of 12 and 48, and three groups of 12 and 36. And if you didn't see that, that's okay. Math is like going to the gym. Uh, if you're a thin guy and you go to the gym, eventually you're going to bulk up. Likewise with math. Uh, if you keep studying, you will, uh, you will get bigger. Well, y your brain will get bigger. Anyway, um, so, okay, so what's a, what's a common multiple of 36 and 48? One thing we can do is you can make a factoring tray. So I'll use another color. Factoring tree. There you go. 
How does that work? 36, uh, 4, 9, 2, 2, 3, 3, and 48 would be. 4 and 12, 2, 2, uh, can you see this, uh, I'll just skip 2, 2, and 3, so uh, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 times 2, blah, so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16, times 3 is 48, and 12, as we did before, is 2, Three. So, um, for the sake of time, I, I rushed through these last ones. I skipped some of the branches. Usually, your factoring tree looks this like this. Um, you break it up. I did four and nine. Uh, an easier starting point would be, you know, break off a two. So, like, um, so two and eighteen. So, if it ends in, if the number is even, if it ends in a six an eight, a two or four. Then bringing off a 2 is a good start. Um, I'm kind of familiar with these numbers, so I did 4 and 9. You do whatever is more comfortable for you. So anyway, so we have the prime factorization of 36. There, so 36 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And that's unique among, um, that's unique for 36 within the natural number system. And then we have 2, 2, 2. 3, uh, we got 2, and then we have 2 times 2 times 3 is 12. And so, one thing uh, mathematicians have noticed, one thing I've noticed, maybe some of you have noticed, uh, to get the multiple, to get a multiple, we can multiply these three numbers together. But we, we would see that it's not the least multiple, there's probably a smaller multiple out there. So one thing you do, you can look at all the primes and try to create a new set that has at least every element here.